What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now what we're working on is filling up the patches right here in this quarter panel. Just finished cutting and welding this fender to kind of continue off of the last video. Pretty much going to take this excess material uh, that Arlen suggested using because it makes so much sense. On this, and it's already actually to the shape of the fender. If you take a look right here. So we're gonna cut off like say a piece to patch this up. We're gonna cut it off and then tack weld it onto the quarter panel and then go ahead and bend that piece in and then trim any excess material off and then weld it on the inside. Uh, same thing we're gonna do over here and then we're gonna kinda have to eyeball and cut these little triangles right here and patch up those holes and then we'll be ready for seam seal. In case you guys are new with welding, uh, which it doesn't seem like it is because a lot of you guys leave comments uh, giving me welding advice, but yeah, definitely want to have raw metal to weld on. You don't want to weld on anything, any metal that's dirty or try to avoid to is what I've learned. So sharing knowledge is key. So Arlen is kind of bending the metal to shape a little bit. That way it kind of goes with the body a bit more. So now that uh, Arlen has a couple uh, tacks on there, you can go ahead and just, like, use both hands now and not just use his left hand. Okay, so we tried tacking this piece back on and we're gonna try and fold it in now. So you can go ahead and... Nice. That worked out a little better than I thought. And we can trim all this right here because this is all excess right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And the hole is not that big. So. Yeah. I'm actually it's... touching all the hole on this side so it can uh -huh. just come with the angle grind. Nice. And then you could seam and then you could grind these down and seam see all of that. Nice. It's fucking sick, dude. That actually worked out really fucking well. That's insane. Cool. And then we can just take the hammer and push this body panel back into yeah. just in case it warps the fender from being. Uh, molded on so that's pretty fucking sick right we got Christian touched up everything and he grinded down the weld and hammered it in a little bit more to his liking so now he's gonna get ready to cut that extra flap and get this thing all clean looking and once we seam seal over it it'll almost be like nothing ever happened So here is the finished product from the fab work that we did. And it's actually pretty good. There's not that much gap back here. Uh, Christian did a really good job cutting it and it just worked out really well. Now that all that's left is to really seam seal it, all these corners, and once we finish all this up and hit it with some underbody coating, you'll kinda, it'll kinda just disappear and it'll just mold into the regular body lines. Much. You excited? Now we just gotta do this side. And then I'm not really excited to work on these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the smaller pieces that are always gonna be a pain I in the ass. Dude, fuck. So now it's Christian's turn to weld and he's going and tap welding it like I did on the other side. That's looking pretty good. Thank you, sir. Pretty good. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I don't think this one you need to hit too much. The gap isn't too big on this one. Yeah. Now I can hit it because I have to. Alright, so after Christian's fab work, um, it's looking pretty insane in there. Check that out, guys. So, yeah, all we have to do now is basically seam seal it. These pieces right here, we kind of eyeball cut it. Um, this we kind of thought we needed to weld in the bottom, but it wasn't even necessary because we could just 
basically bend it to the right shape, weld it from the top, and then just seam seal the rest of it. Because honestly, this offers no structural integrity, just to just basically a cover. So we could just tack it up here, and then go ahead and cut off the excess. And, and then the seam sealer seal. will actually help hold it up too. So exactly, it'll be good to go. The seam seal is actually pretty strong, right? Like you were saying, some some cars are actually basically on all yeah, seam sealer. Yeah, over at my work. So. All, most of the supercars that I work on is 80% seam sealer. Good man, I'm fucking high. Dude. Welcome to L LWB. This is lucrative wide body. Dude. You're, you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see Christian growing out his hair hella long. He's gonna be smoking a cigarette, not caring about things, just grinding parts with no eyeglasses on. <laughs> I'm arguing that, just no stokes though. No stokes. No okay, no, he has either. he has his vape. That's what that's, that's what it's gonna be. Exposed. And then instead of Stella, this dude, you know, this dude only drinks like Heineken's and shit. Heineken's, IPAs, dude, actually got one right here. <laughs> the, the little lucrative stash. Yeah, dude. Cheers, guys. I'll drink to that. That's looking pretty good. Crazy to think that the fender used to hang basically like this low right here. And yeah, just now. now you have like all this clearance in there and it's just... You're never gonna be rubbing again. You're not gonna hit on anything. You're not gonna worry about scraping your tire on anything. Exactly, in this angle too, it actually serves some sort of purpose. Like it gives me negative camber clearance, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty, uh, <laughs> yeah. What's up guys? So we're back at the shop. Just finished patching up this hole right here. Um, and basically everything is ready to have self-expanding foam applied. Uh, we were just gonna seam seal it, but we found out that the seam sealer actually won't fill up these cavities right here. So we're gonna use self-expanding foam first and then seam seal everything after. So we bought this self-expanding foam from Home Depot. It was like, was it 12 bucks? That no, was like three or four. Self oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You paid 12 right. bucks for a caulking gun you didn't need. You're right. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're actually supposed to leave that on. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm just like recording you shaking without anything context what's underneath. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> All right, let's send this. Dude, I've never done this before. It should be okay. I'm gonna hit up this, the biggest gap first because I like to do the hardest part first. It's just like finger painting. All right, so it looks like some sort of. It's like whipped cream. I know. And just remember that stuff will expand, so we probably have to sand it okay. once it fully cures. I'll just fucking use the grinder sander. <laughs> Real quick. Probably better not to, but use something that is more gentle, but fuck it. Didn't some guy make a wide body or something with this stuff? Yes, he did. Uh, it's the dude who makes the cars for Suicide Squad. Oh, really? That crazy Joker car, that's actually a G35 with like fiberglass and self-expanding foam. Really? That's crazy. I got you, bro. <laughs> Is that the first time somebody's sprayed something on your hands? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so we have all the self-expanding foam already dried up. The next thing we can do is basically try and cut off as much as we can and then probably hand sand it all down and smooth. And then we'll be ready for seam seal. All right, so here we basically grinded down all the foam. So it looks a lot cleaner and there are no more holes kind of, there are no more holes that'll allow water to kind of rust the inner body of the chassis. So this is looking really good, guys. The next thing we have to do is seam seal. Also guys, really quick, before we continue the work, I wanna go ahead and ask you guys what, how you guys feel about this black tea basically switched up the font color and made it red. Let me know in the comment section below if you like it and if you would like for me to drop this version of the t-shirt. But yeah guys, we can make them. All right guys, so we just finished seam sealing all the foam here. And yes, I would agree, it doesn't look too good. It's kind of looks like trash, right? Wait till you undercoat it. Exactly, he's the man right here. This Once guy's you go black, he knows. You don't go back. Okay, bro, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but true, true. So the next step for us is undercoat. In case you guys don't know what undercoat is, this bottle right here is undercoat. It's darker than this fool right here. Yeah, as you can tell. I know, that's what you guys say. You should see my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. 
Uh, the undercoat is black. Next step we're gonna do is spray basically everything here except for the coilovers and rotors. Obviously we're gonna cover that and spray everything with undercoat and uh, so that it looks basically brand new and that so all this foamy stuff is protected. The seam sealer does harden everything up but this is kind of like the last uh, final seal that's gonna just keep all the water out it's from like the inside. Foam was primer seam sealer was the paint and then this is your clear coat exactly and it's heavy duty clear coat too which is really cool you can get one of these bottles at o'reilly's for about 20 bucks right something like that yeah it'll 20 last bucks. you a long time exactly um, actually my civic the whole engine bay is all undercoat oh really damn you went the extra mile like, well, i did that really because reliable. like i was thinking about it like if i track this car and like if i blow the motor which i pray to god i don't mm -hmm. um and oil gets everywhere, it's gonna be an ass to clean. Yeah. So, so undercoat, the good thing about it is that it repels things like grease, uh, water, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. like everything just kind of slicks off and with the pressure washer, you can just get Spray it, it all right off. off. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It just doesn't look that pretty, right? But this guy's no, a cool it looks good. It does? Once you spray it on, it looks good. No fucking um, way. Some people like, people use like, you know, if you've seen bed liner on trucks, spray on bed liner where it's that textured black. Mm -hmm. That's what undercoat essentially okay, is. Okay, that makes sense. That, yeah. That's kind of what I was expecting with this. So yeah, guys, 20 bucks, and we'll probably get both rears done with this. So, super stoked. So before we spray everything with undercoat, we're gonna go ahead and get a rag and isopropyl alcohol and wipe everything down under there because we don't want to kind of coat any dirt in between mm -hmm. the body and the undercoat, right? It's so not the, gonna stick. And it helps promote like adhesion and stuff like that too because the whole surface is degreased essentially. Exactly. In case you guys haven't noticed already, this guy's like my human Google. I don't even need to ask Siri anymore. <laughs> I just ask Arlen. I'm like, hey Arlen. He's like, dee dee. The dee dee. <laughs> so are we gonna start making lucrative like lucrative hubs now like a Google Home Hub? And then it's my voice voiced over it. Oh my gosh. But then watch, you guys are gonna ask it some questions and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be biased and like, hey Arlen, should I stance and camera my car? Did it? No, I'll get a track set up, foo. <laughs> dude, Arlen, look at this shit, dude. Dude, it's looking better already. I know, dude. The How more and more that you go, hold on, let me go get some light for the viewers so that they can yeah, see. Yeah, so see, like, what I did, honestly thought like it wasn't even gonna do anything. I thought like the isopropyl alcohol and the rag was just like, okay, they're just wiping dirt. It actually looks like it's putting in work dude oh fuck it's just alcohol yeah drink that shit every day I'm just kidding not every day <laughs> that's not the kind of alcohol you should be drinking no, but all right not drink this shit guys i was just talking about a different thing we got some ipas in the fridge you want know? i'm just kidding claws the law bro which claws the law, dude. I didn't mean that. dude you're freaking mean bro you got all these memes loaded up. It's so funny. Claw is the law, dude. I, I don't even know what it's about, bro. Like, it's White ever, Claw. Have you had a White Claw, dude? I had a White Claw. I had one at that party on Saturday. It wasn't. Oh, when you got the super trash. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. It wasn't the White Claw that got me trashed. It was the jungle juice. Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. But yeah, dude, White Claws taste like water, bro. I don't know why people like rave over that shit. Don, if you're watching this video, that wasn't jungle juice, bro. That was one bottle of Tampico and eight bottles of New Amsterdam. Jesus. Sounds like And then a Malibu, like a, which doesn't I, make things any better. I think you got played, bro. I think you drink I think the jungle juice was Henny and Patron mixed together. Oh Patronacy? That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the worst. Bro. It's Patronacy, bro. It's like a Harry Potter spell. It's, it's the spell that gets you that gets you knocked out. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to get Leviosa and not knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there? Oh well, you know, it's just spray tan, you know, I'm trying to Oh yeah. Turn black. I'm too light skinned for this. You gotta, ma <laughs> you, you gotta match to the, the shirt. Oh yeah, this is a perfect time to plug the oh the yeah red, guys. What do you think of the red in the center, bro? Red font. If you like it, let me know in the comment section below. I will drop this shit. If you guys That's really Nismo do. colors, bro. Oh yeah, dude. That's hella Nismo colors. Mm -hmm. Let's arm and show everybody the underbody of this shit. Alright, so now. this is what it's gonna Ooh. look like. This is what it looks like now. And Christian's gonna get ready to spray it, so you guys are gonna see how much of a difference a new fresh can of undercoat will actually do for your car. It's one of those little things that you're never gonna see, usually, but it's one of those things where it, you appreciate it that much more. Just wipe down my coal over to you with that. Oh, yeah. You know, that, 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 Ooh, that PBM dude. Rose Gold. Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking steezy. PBM makes such pretty coilovers for you to never see it like 80% of the time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you look at like KWs and stuff and you're like, oh, they're silver and yellow. Yeah, they're cool. Keep PBM would just be like, oh, we want orange and rose gold up in here. You gotta be flashy, bro. Because you have to flex. You gotta flex, dude. Drifting's, Drifting's about flexing. It is, dude. It's street flexing. 
Definitely, definitely. You don't. This guy's not a flexor. He just he's a sleeper, dude. You you wake him <laughs> up and he just takes you out, dude. That's exactly what he is. <laughs> oh, that's that's why my car look ugly. You don't expect it, and then, you know. <laughs> then you get toasted. <laughs> oh god. So this is the current setup right now. We sort of wrap the t-shirt around the coil and put another one and lay it on top of the brakes, rotors, control arms, etc. So that we could actually spray inside the channels and mm -hmm. just get it as clean looking as possible. I know, dude. I'm so fortunate that I have a bunch of like random t-shirts at the shop. Shout out to Uncle Sun, dude. The funny ass dude. In the previous videos, <laughs> oh, Uncle Sun, dude. He's so funny. Bring him back. He just, I know. We got to bring Uncle Sun back, dude. He's so much, he's so much fun. He brought me just a bunch of like white t-shirts. He's like, yo, do you need some like t-shirts to use as rags? Bro, I got like hundreds of them. I'm like, yeah, dude, send it. So now we're using it for this. All right. I, I can't like, wait to see the first spray and just like imagine the whole thing. I think it should be good. I should go for like two oh, yeah, seconds. Oh yeah, it'll be good. All right, let's see what happens. All right, guys, here we go. Mm. Whoa, so, dude. That's already gonna look so much Brand better. freaking new, guys. So I'm gonna let Christian spray this whole thing and then we'll show you guys what it looks like after. Down. So uh, what do you think so far? Dude, it looks freaking brand new, dude. It looks you, you like show brand new. Yeah, dude, show them, send it. Yo, that's crazy. And like, if you look up here where we did all that work, it's like, it's still there. You could tell it's there, but it almost just blended everything together. Absolutely. So it, it kind of pretty OEM. Like, okay, this looks like OEM work. You know what I mean? Like I freaking literally cut small pieces to fill it in and it just looks like one piece. It now. blended most of it in. Dude, so I'm it looks so really good. I'm on this, bro. It looks so good. So good. So if you guys ever want to wide body your cars and sort of retain an OEM look, you've pretty much seen this video. Just use the same steps. We'll work on any car. Auto body's more or less the same across the board unless you're dealing with like fiberglass or something. Absolutely. But other than that, that is really clean. Dude, I'm hyped on this, dude. So hyped. Back to jet black. None of that nasty, like rustic looking brown. I know, dude. Jet black is sick. And plus like when we're shredding tire, It'll just blend in, you won't even know. I'm so happy with this, bro. Fuck yeah. Check it out, guys. We just finished the passenger side and it looks pretty damn good. Almost brand new, so yeah, man. I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, definitely, it is definitely important to make sure you seal the underbody of the corner panel when you're cutting, because Honestly, you getting water under there can rust all the metals that you cut and can make it weaker. You don't want weak metal under there that's actually supporting your quarter panel and all the inside because then that's exactly how you get chassis rot or body rot, whatever. And that just makes your car just like more, I guess you could say ugly and, and weaker. So to preserve the car, I think it was an absolute necessary step to do um, all the metal work that I did and all the underbody coating. Uh, because we are trying to preserve this 20 or 30 year old car. I want to be able to drift this thing as much as possible So I'm very happy that I went this route also as far as how much I spent to do this um, The sealer was like 12 bucks the expanding foam was like five dollars and the underbody coat was like 20 bucks and one can did both sides so just so you have an idea it's really not too expensive it's like 40 bucks and you get really clean work and as long as you do it right and weld and patch everything like I did earlier uh, in the previous video, you guys will get a very similar result. So if you guys are doing the wide body kit or even a Ishikawa body kit, um, I highly recommend you do this because, you know, as, as far as clearance goes, I mean, you're going to want to do basically the work that I did. Um, you don't want to just cut everything out and have everything exposed on the inside unless you plan on just having that full track car and you don't plan on streeting it or whatever. But anyways, I hope you guys found today's video useful and helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, and thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Please don't forget to hit up Lucrative Co. I'll have the link in the description below. Let me know what you think of the red uh, font design. And we did recently restock all the black and white tees. So head over to the website, cop some merch, support your boy. And uh, be ready for these more frequent and consistent uploads. I'm super excited to get back on the daily grind and just get this car on the ground again. And dude, that motor, man, I really need to get a hold of Grom because I'm waiting for uh, a quote, to be honest. 
Um, but anyways, we'll save that for next video. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Mm -hmm.